So I finally think I found a solution to vehicle water storage. I found this one the other day at a local surplus store. This is the 10 liter Ridge Monkey heavy duty water carrier and I'm gonna give you a review on it today. All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today on a very nice Saturday afternoon. Um, today we're going to take a look at this 10 liter Ridge Monkey heavy duty water carrier. Now if you guys remember from my previous videos, what I was using in my vehicle to carry water was one of these old gas cans. No, it's never had gas in it. <laughs> it's never had gas in it. I, have, I bought it brand new. I kind of touched it up a little bit so it didn't look like a gas can in the back of my car and wouldn't freak people out. Just a little camo pattern uh, with uh, some sponges. And uh, I've been using it for years. And the reason I went to this is because I kept buying water containers that kept leaking. Um, this is actually from years ago when I had a little white pickup truck, a uh, little GMC Sonoma, and I had a camper shell on it. And I kept putting water containers in there, big five gallon ones, and they kept leaking every single time. Thankfully, the back of the bed was rhino lined, so it didn't matter. It just spilled out. It wasn't on carpet or anything inside a car. Or any other kind of vehicle so I got frustrated and I'm like you know what I know gas cans aren't gonna leak I'm gonna buy a two gallon gas can I'm gonna rinse it out never put gas in it and use it for water and it worked for years now I never really drank out of this because this is emergency water once in a while I take a little sip to make sure it was okay and it, yes it's kind of weird taking a sip from a gas can <laughs> but I never drank out of it um, never had the chance to use it in emergency but I figured you know what Regardless of whatever plastics this is made out of in an emergency, it's an extra two gallons of water. Now, we do carry a lot of water in our vehicle, so I'm never really concerned about that. We always have a good amount. So this is really just supplemental. But I was looking for something to replace it because it's not a proper water container, and it is kind of bulky and weird and just wasn't right. So the other day when I was in the new uh, surplus store here in town, and for those of you wondering if you're local, it's called Plan B Preparedness and Survival. They are located on Highway 372. You come right off of 160 as you're coming into Pahrump. Uh, anyway, for those of you interested in uh, checking the place out, that's the address. But I came across this, and he's been getting some amazing, weird surplus stuff in there. Just random surplus stuff that I've never seen before. This is made by a company called Ridge Monkey. I believe they are a UK company that makes fishing and outdoor gear. Mostly heavy on the fishing stuff. I looked them up, and I will put their site down below if you want to pick these up. I looked them up last night, and uh, that's where they, uh, that's where they um, emanate from originally. So as you can tell, it is a, what is this, 10 liters. That's a little look around it. It's a 10 liter container, so that's about 2.7 gallons. So I'm getting a little more water than I had stored in a proper container. But there is something really cool to this, and I'll show you that in a minute. First off, you've got two filling areas, but you've got the big filling area here. So that makes it really easy to fill um, with a water filter with anything. You know, it's really simple to just fill that up right there. It's the bigger. So it's made of HDPE material, and that is the high-density polyurethane. It's the same material they use to make water mains and stuff like that. So you know it's safe to drink out of, and you know it's going to last a good long time. And you can be confident it'll last for years inside your vehicle. You know, if you're not going to beat this up, if you're not going to mount this outside, you'll be fine. Um, I have seen something similar to this on the sides of motorcycles. So, I don't know, you know, exposed to the outdoors, who knows? I got a feeling it would last up a good long time. It's very comfortable to carry. Um, I don't know how they did it. You know, water's heavy, but this seems to, the way this handle is and the way it's balanced, it's very, very comfortable to carry. Uh, much more comfortable than that gas can that always seemed to be leaning forward. So I'm going to show you the interesting feature on this. Um, pretty much it works like this. If you want to use this instead of just pouring it into a cup or whatever, you can do it like this. Now let me take this top off here. You'll notice this top has an interesting feature. I'm going to take both off. There's your cap there. And these do have a nice seal on them so there's no leaking out. Nice rubber seal. Here's the interesting feature. Whoops. Besides making a mess. <laughs> it's got a spigot on it. Now, how does it work? You unscrew that, screw it on here, you get that nice and tight, 
put this back up like that and I'll back up the camera in a minute and show you how it would work but anyway that's the idea now let me back up the camera so I can show you how this would work hey, correctly. down there it's all messy <laughs> okay so this is how this works you take this here you'll just turn it on and there you go I'm spilling some on purpose so you can see the water flow and turn it back off doesn't leak doesn't have any issues really really nice to hang on to there I did spill a ton of water when I was opening it up all in all I'm very pleased with it it's gonna make for a really really cool um, addition to the new vehicle and it's gonna be a proper container instead of drinking out of a gas can <laughs> so you can't beat that so let me move in and I'll talk to you about the price and where you can pick these up all right so I've cleaned up from my messy spilling of water everywhere but uh, that's actually good to know that's actually something I didn't know um, when you take this out with the spigot in there it's going to spill water everywhere so definitely something to remember but um, as for picking one of these up like I said I'm gonna put a link down below the site is ridgemonkey.co.uk um, they do have prices in both pounds and American dollars so they do sell to the states um, these are very inexpensive I was really shocked you know, if you look on Amazon for water containers, or if you look them up anywhere else, they're usually pretty darn pricey. Something like this would go to 40 or 50 bucks. I believe this is for sale around the 15 to 20 dollar range for the different sizes, and there are three sizes of this. You can get the five liter, which is of course smaller than this, the 10 liter, and the 15 liter. And I believe the 10 and 15 liter also have the two, the larger filling area and the two things, and the cap for the end there. So you can get both of them. Um, he didn't have the 15 liter, or I would have purchased it. But for me, 10 liters, 2.7 gallons, it's a little more than I had. And like I said, I have numerous canteens filled in my vehicle with water. We always carry water for going anywhere far away from home. So, you know, we always carry extra water. So having an extra 2.7 gallons is going to be pretty handy to have. And it's a nice tractor package. It's kind of thin. It's slim. It will fit in there perfectly. And it's really... Hard to beat, you know, for the price. I believe I paid, uh, what was it, $15 for these? So, I mean, it's it's definitely worth the price. Um, I have tested it. I have had it a few days. I've been shaking it around, trying to get it to leak. I've left it on its side in the garage out here on the floor, you know, hoping maybe one of these would leak. No, nope, nothing. Well, not hoping, but testing. <laughs> I definitely don't hope it leaks. So, all in all, I'm pleased with it. It's It's doing what it's supposed to do. It's a proper water container for my vehicle as opposed to, you know, this big ugly gas container. I would have loved to be, you know, in the middle of an emergency, pull off on the side of the road, have it all red, open it up and just start guzzling down from it. People are like, what are you doing? Stop! Huh, it's water. <laughs> but I always had it marked water and then I painted it over it, so it didn't freak people out. But it did work. I mean, you know, it held it. That's That's probably... Let's see, I bought it in 2009, so, you know, that's a good, that's a good long 10 years. It's held water, hasn't had any problems. So I'm going to be sticking this in the back of my vehicle now. Um, pretty pleased with it, and uh, very happy I got the deal on it. Didn't even know about the company, so it really does pay to hunt around on the internet, you know. Um, something for you folks on, uh, that are watching, if you're new to survival, I'm going to suggest something that sounds really out of there. But check out Pinterest. Pinterest has so many interesting different survival ideas that it's absolutely amazing what you'll find there. I know it sounds like a place that people go to stare at blinds and new house decor and no, trust me, this, you know, this, they actually have some really cool survival sections and um, I have started going over there and checking it out. Maybe eventually I'll put some of my content up there, I don't know yet, but it's definitely a handy place to, uh, to learn and you learn about companies that you would not know about normally. And some of the stuff you can't get in the States. It's like they just don't sell here. But I believe they do sell here. So check them out. They're definitely a good deal. Um, I will let you know if I have any failures or issues with it. I'm not getting rid of the old, uh, the old gas can just yet. <laughs> just to be safe. But um, that's the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put the link down below. Like I said, underneath that link is our Amazon store. If you feel like helping us out, it doesn't cost you anything. Click the link. Shop as you normally would on Amazon. Really, really helps out the channel. And don't forget to check out our Thrive Life link if you're interested in getting started. I know some people have expressed interest in getting started with Thrive Life and actually becoming a distributor. If you're interested in doing that, you can check out all the information on there. If not, just leave a message on one of my videos if you're confused about anything, and I'll be glad to help you out with Thrive. 
Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.